Here are the box contents. The pieces aren't really marked, so we're going to have to rely on the photo from Amazon to help set it up. So the first step is I put down the base carpet side up. On the other side, I fed through four of the shorter bolts and they come up through a hole in the carpet. Find four poles that are the exact same length. It should be two beige and two green. We're just going to put them on here, make them hand tight, and then we're going to finish tightening them with the Allen wrench. Now that all four poles are screwed onto the base, I'm just going to tighten these pretty good. I believe it's just a press board, so I don't want to over tighten. For the next layer, find three poles that are the same length, two green and one beige. It's going to go like this. I'm going to put the beige one in the front and then one's going to go there in the back left and one to the back right. We're leaving the front right open. Each corner has a hole in the carpet, so you're going to feed one of these double-sided bolts through there. There. I'm going to screw this in. There. That's pretty good. Okay, and now put this side on. Pretty sturdy. I'm going to do the exact same thing to the back two poles. I have the three poles screwed in. For the corner here that doesn't get a pole, find a hole and put one of these bolts through there. You may have to wiggle it to get it lined up with the pole underneath and tighten with your Allen wrench. So we're going to put a half plank on the left side. This beige pole is going to go on the back and there's no pole on the front so we're just going to find a little divot, wiggle around until you get it to line up and tighten with the Allen wrench. On the back we're going to use a bolt with threads on both ends like we did before and then attach the beige pole. So now on the back left side we're going to attach this little scratchy post. It just sits on like that and then you put a double-sided bolt in there and then we're going to put this one on like that. First I'm going to tighten the bracket to the scratchy post. Mine's very loose. So now I'm going to put this on here with the double-sided bolt. And now, screw in the other green one. And you'll have to hold the pad in place while you tighten this so the pad stays straight. That's pretty good. Now for the topper. We're going to do almost the exact same thing. Take the other half piece the left side is not going to have anything on top of it, so you would just use the regular bolt. The other side is going to have the pull with the fake leaves. Now screw in the last piece. So here's the end result. It's pretty compact. I'm five foot four, and the end of the top pole comes up to my chin and Panther's already found his way onto it. The only thing I would say is I don't think the hammock's going to fit my cat, but you never know. So it's cute and pretty easy to put together. Gives your cat a little more vertical territory. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.